Hi, I'm Michael Stern. I'm one of the hundreds of students Sue Copen Katzif has taught during her 27 years teaching journalism at the University of Maryland. 27 years? Well, that's a long time, long before I was born. But even before that, she was a reporter at WJZ, MPT, and WBAL Radio. Sue Copen, March 23rd, 1979. There's more bad news for your pocketbook today. She started at WJZ in 1979, and let's just say it was a different time then. Oh God, I can only imagine what the newsroom was like 30 years ago. Were there computers? But I can't imagine if I didn't have a cell phone, like how I would get in contact with her, like, oh, let me go find a payphone or something. I don't know. I'm sure they didn't have studio lights, so they just had to light a bunch of candles. Like Facebook wasn't even a thing back then. They used to not edit, like, on a computer. They used to, like, I don't even know. I don't know if that was 30, I think that was within 30 years, definitely. So, like, you know, just developing your film and like, I don't know. Sue went on from WJZ to WBAL Radio and Maryland Public Television. And then in 1989, she caught the teaching bug. Sue is so supportive. I feel like I have so much to learn from her and I feel like she's such a good role model because of the things that she's done. She really cares about her students not only on an academic level, but also on a personal level. I felt so much care and so much passion just walking to the newsroom every day and I could tell she really cared about me in, as an individual. She started as an adjunct and then in 1999, she moved into a full-time position. 10 years later, Sue was appointed the head of the broadcast bureau of the Capitol News Service. Sue is sort of everybody's um, favorite cheerleader, godmother, yenta, confessor, uh, just all around enthusiastic uh, student supporter. Uh, she's like, uh, if this were a Cub Scout troop, she'd be the den mother. I see our students on, on TV all over the D.C. area all the time, and most of them, or many of them, went through Sue at some point. Sue is responsible for training young journalists from around the country. There's nothing that I can say that will explain the lives that Sue has touched while at the University of Maryland whether it be her candy jar, her adorable dog Mazda, or just her immense joy, the impact that she has had is immeasurable. Sue, I remember when I started at the University of Maryland, you were my school mom. You always asked me how much sleep I got the night before, if I had done my homework, the normal things that a mom would do, and I would always tell you the truthful answers until the truth got to be too bad. Over the past four years, we've formed a connection. I know I can come to you with any problem, personal or professional, and you'll always help me out. It might even just be a look that you give me and I'll know what I have to do. And that connection, I know, will last a lifetime. And I know that that's the connection that you have formed with many of your past students, but don't just take my word for it. Let's hear what some of the working professionals that you have taught over the years have to say. Sue is, was one of, always one of my favorite teachers, but since I've graduated, she's just become a fantastic mentor and friend. Uh, you helped me to find a new direction. You helped me to find a renewed sense of confidence in myself. I would not be standing here had it not been for you. Sue, as I stand here ready to record another package after anchoring and recording another segment for a different newscast, all I can think of when I think back at Maryland and of you, I think thank you. You give the personal attention to all the students that you have. I think we all appreciate that more than you'll ever know. I remember one day in class you played a tape of you questioning a police PIO. He was telling you the facts and you finally said to him, this doesn't add up. And it just stuck with me because it taught me to be tough, but also fair. You have been an amazing teacher and mentor to so many people over the years, including uh, Melissa and myself. I cannot emphasize enough how much Sue has had an impact on my life. There is no way to understate the impact that Sue has had on my career. We're proud to have learned from you and we continue to learn from you. She really helped me and pushed me so much. She's always been there for me, not just at my career at uh, Maryland, but also throughout my career in the profession. Field. I thank you so much for helping me to get to this spot. Thank you for all you've done for, for me and for so many other people. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything you've given me, Sue. But also, thank you for turning students uh, into journalists. So congratulations, Sue. There is truly no one more deserving of a place in the Silver Circle. Congratulations, Sue, and thank you for all you do. We love you.